Hi, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. A man who felt the Russian government was being a little testy with his rights publicly protested by going to Moscow's Red Square, stripping himself naked, sitting on the cold cobblestone, and, uh, and nailing his genitals to the ground. Basically, this guy thinks Russia is falling into a police state, so he wanted to bring attention to that fact. <laughs> no. Boy, did he. Here we are talking about it. And his nuts. The moment of defiance occurred outside of Lenin's mausoleum on November 10th, which happens to be Russia's annual police day holiday. And artist Pyotr Pavlensky celebrated by breaking out his holiday hammer and nail in an act he described as a, quote, metaphor for apathy, political indifference, and fatalism of modern Russian society. Upon seeing the man, passerby were quoted as saying things like, oh yeah, yeah, that right there is a metaphor for apathy. And no, 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 no. I don't think so. I'd say it's more about political indifference and holy shit that guy Bob Vila is nuts to the ground bewildered police that were probably really mad that they had to deball a guy from the ground on police day which is their day took the artist to the hospital and then detained him and then just let him go because they were like what are we gonna charge this guy with seems like he could face up to 15 days in prison for things like disorderly conduct and hooliganism this act is just over par for the course for a guy who gained notoriety by protesting pussy rights apprehension by sewing his mouth shut and he also wrapped his naked body body and barbed wire creating another metaphor that represented quote human existence in repressive legal systems where any movement causes a severe reaction of the law which sinks its teeth into the body of an individual i think this dude just likes protesting the binding tyrannical dictator that is closed Okay, look, sometimes when people feel words are not loud enough, it takes a little bit of shock and awe to bring attention to a problem or to elicit change. It's the same impetus behind Tibetan Buddhist monks that light themselves on fire. I personally respect this guy's passion, and here we are talking about him and his do-it-to-yourself project, so it kind of worked, but in the world of headlines and clicks, I feel like the act is going to outshine the words. So, let us end this whole piece with his words. It's not a bureaucratic mess that deprives society of its ability to act, but fixation on our own defeats and losses that nails us to the Kremlin's pavement stronger and stronger, creating an army of apathetic idols out of people patiently awaiting their fate. You see, that is a powerful statement. Those, those words are deep, and if you just you just think about it, you no, know, for a second, you realize this dude extreme makeover at his baby maker to Mother Russia. <sighs> Ooh. So what do you guys think of extreme demonstrations acted out to bring attention to the problems of the world? And what are some of the more intense acts that you've heard of? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're done with that, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And then you can click this annotation and watch our five stories of the day. My name's Joe Beretta. Thanks for watching SourceFed. I'm gonna go just have a moment with myself because it's nice to know that I'm still complete, like 100%. Whoo!